If you think you're just going to have a dream and a goal, and you're just going to wake up and make it happen, you're dead wrong. Life will beat you down over and over and over. That dream will always be tested. The pressure in your life right now has a purpose. It's not crushing you. It's pushing what's on the inside of you out. It shows you who you really are. Life will test you like that. How bad do you really want it? How bad you want it? Huh? I'm going to take your car. You will have creditors calling you every day. How focused can you be? You will have judgments fall against you. You're going to lose all of the materialistic things you have. You're going to lose your job. And people who you thought will help you won't be there for you. How positive can you be now? Where is your feeling of being empowered, having the capacity to create now? That's going to happen to you. I don't care what you're facing right now. You can't let the outside circumstances take control. Hold that vision, that idea, that dream so firmly in your mind that you can feel it, that you can taste it, that you can smell it, and just keep walking toward it, no matter what. Stand courageously, daringly, become bold. In spite of this, I'm not giving up on my tree. When you're facing those hard times, you've got to decide to stand up inside yourself. You've got to make it your personal mission to fight back, to go down swinging, to wage war against all the negativity going on around you and going on within you. You got to tell yourself, I can do this. I can handle it. I'm going to get through this. I have what it takes. No petty adversity will stop me. Some of you need to get tired. Get tired of the way people make fun of you and your dream. Get tired of the effort you're putting in every day. Get tired of feeling defeated all the time. You should be mad about it because you deserve better. You deserve your dream. But don't just cry about it. Don't just talk about it. Don't just think about it. I want you to get up and do something about it. I want you to put your whole self into that thing you want and stop at nothing to reach it. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. It will suck the life out of you. Your life will be miserable if you're not living in alignment with who you are. See, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free. You will never be a victim again. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. You will learn how to overcome the world by not buying into what's in front of you. Don't feel sorry for yourself and trying to organize a pity party. The shots are part of the program. Keep on moving. You gotta make up in your mind that I'm better than this. I'm stronger than this. I will survive this. I can live my dream. I can find my purpose in life. I deserve more for myself. This is not gonna be it for my life. When you get to that point, when you have that type of mentality of not beating yourself up because of your mistakes, and instead start looking at the possibility of you doing better, of you making the adjustments, things begin to change in your favor. You need to understand that you are rare. Nobody is quite like you. You're in a class all by yourself. If you really knew that, you wouldn't be so insecure. You wouldn't be so intimidated. You wouldn't be so vulnerable. There will never be another you. You got a voice like nobody else. You got a fingerprint like nobody else. You got thoughts like nobody else. You are one of a kind. You gotta believe even when there's no reason to believe. You gotta hold on, you gotta have faith. When everything appears to be going wrong, when you're working on your dreams and people that you love and trust decide to walk out on you, you still gotta believe. When you see those things that you've been working on fall apart in front of your face, you still got to believe. When friends and family who should be a source of strength and encouragement start to tell you you can't do it, you still gotta believe. You might not know how you're gonna do it, but you gotta believe with everything in you that you're gonna make it. You gotta make up in your mind before you even get to the fight. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how much effort I gotta put in. I don't have the money, I don't have the education, but I won't allow that to stop me. I'm gonna do it. I need you to look yourself in the face and declare, this is my life, these are my dreams. I can have whatever I wanna have. I can be whatever I wanna be. I can go wherever I wanna go. And whatever is required to do it, is already inside of me.
life will hit you so hard that you're not gonna see a way up. You're gonna be laying flat on the ground, gasping for air, wondering if this is the end for you. No, it's not. It is not the end for you. You can still come back again. It's gonna be very challenging whenever you decide that you wanna grow, whenever you decide that you wanna to go to another level all hell will break loose. It's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. You're going to have so many moments where you doubt yourself, where you question if you can still make it. There's going to be so many rough times. But these times haven't come to stay. They've come to pass. We all go through problems. They don't have to overwhelm you, though. They don't have to take you out. They don't have to make your life miserable. But the real problem you have in your life is that every time you run up against a trial or tribulation, you back off, you run away. And as long as you do that, you'll run away from everything great you can get in life. You gotta get to a point where you look at life and say, you will not beat me. It's easy to complain. It's easy to point out your circumstances. It's easy to talk about what's happened to you. It's easy to talk about your situation and what you're going through. But if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. Because it's easy to be on the bottom in life. It doesn't take any energy or any drive to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you to pick yourself up and reach for something greater. If you're going to make it happen, you got to harness your will and command yourself to act, even when it hurts like hell. I will not stop in the process. I will take everything that happens to me and use it to push me to greatness. You got to say yes to your dreams. Yes to you. You can make it. Doesn't matter how many failures you've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes you've endured. Doesn't matter about your defeats. Doesn't matter about what you've done. It doesn't matter that you are in a hole now. Doesn't matter where you are. The last chapter to your life hasn't been written yet. If people judge you now, they'll judge you prematurely. You haven't exposed all your stuff yet. You're still in the process of transforming your life. You're still in the process of becoming. Some of you are phenomenally skilled, but it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. It might last for a second. It might last for a day. It might last for a week. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you don't give up, if you don't give in, it will subside. You are great. You are unique. You are special. You are talented. And you deserve to have everything you want. And stop listening to the people who tell you you don't. Cut them off. What do they know? They don't know what the possibilities are for your life. Nobody knows that. You have unlimited potential. It takes a lot of guts to pick yourself up when you experience setbacks and people don't see the vision and people are laughing at you and they're doubting you. All those people are going to think you're crazy. It takes guts to stand in the face of that. But no guts, no glory. Most people, when they get rejected, it takes their power away and they become discouraged. They lose their spirit. They lose their energy. But if you want to become an uncommon person, you've got to go further than most people will ever go. Behind every adversity, there's a blessing and a lesson. Pain always leaves a gift. The depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. You're supposed to react. You're supposed to respond. You're supposed to be down for a quick minute. But you get back up. You don't stop. And you keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what, you don't give up. And when those obstacles in front of you tell you to quit, you tell them, I will break you before you break me. You will not destroy me. I have come too far to quit. I'm gonna get a reward for my pain. 